everybody. This is Diana from So Very Crafty, and we are here today to make this super simple beginner quilted sungla sunglass case or glasses case, whatever you want to use it for. It's got a cam snap to keep it closed. It's got fusible foam to keep it safe. And it's a beginner project that anybody can do. I hope that you enjoy this project today. It is indeed a simple, simple project that takes about 10 minutes to make. Anybody can make this project. I urge you to give it a try. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ding that bell for notifications. And if you want more sewing and crafting tutorials, head over to the website at www.soverycrafty.com for many more sewing and crafting tutorials that you won't see here on the YouTube channel. So with that in mind, let's get started on how to make this quilted sunglass case. So what do we need to get started on this super simple beginner sunglass case? or eyeglass case, whatever you want to use it for. Uh, what we need here is some fabrics, some foam, and some cam snaps. The cam snaps are optional. I like them because I don't like my glasses falling out of my case, but uh, you don't need to add them if you don't want to. We're going to have two lining pieces that measure four and a half inches by seven inches. We're also going to have two outer pieces that measure the same thing, unless you want two different colors like I have here. And what I've done is I've made the top of my glasses case two and a half inches by four and a quarter and the bottom five inches by four and a quarter so that when I stitch these two together using a quarter inch seam allowance it will total four and a quarter by seven and a half that way they'll both be the same and then I have two pieces of fusible fleece here that measure four and a quarter by seven and a half. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to take our small pieces of fabric and we're going to stitch them onto our larger pieces of outer fabric, right sides together, just like this. And we're going to use a one quarter inch seam allowance and we're just going to stitch right across the top. I'm not going to show it on the video today uh, because it's just a straight seam right across the top, one quarter inch, and I'll be right back. Now I've finished stitching the top part of our sunglass case. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fuse our foam to the wrong side of this uh, these two pieces of fabric just like that. So I'm just going to head over to the iron and I'm going to fuse these two pieces together using a hot iron and I'll be right back. Now I'm back and I fused my foam to my outer pieces of fabric and you can see they're all one piece and we can start putting this uh, together. For our next step though, I want to make this um, quilted for my project today. So I'm just going to go over to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch some one inch lines right across my outer fabric and my foam to create a quilted look for my project. So let's go over to the sewing machine and let's just stitch some one inch lines across here so we can have a quilted look for our project today. 
Okay, so I have quilted my pieces here and I just kind of eyeballed these one inch uh, lines, but you can measure them out if you want. The next thing that we're going to do now that we have our one inch quilting lines is I'm going to take a just round object and I'm going to round off one corner of my project here. Now you can use a round ruler like for example I have this round ruler that would work just perfectly for this and I'm just going to do that. The one thing you want to make sure that you do is when you are rounding off you want to make sure that when you're rounding off on the opposite side of your outer fabrics because otherwise they won't match up. So I'm just going to do that. And we're going to do the same thing for our lining pieces. I'm going to take my scissors and just cut around these. This just gives it a little uh, bit of oomph. to our glasses case. Now that we've done that, we're going to place our outer pieces right sides together. And we're going to place our lining pieces right sides together. Now, as usual, I'm using some brightly colored Kona cotton, so there's not really a right side or a wrong side. So I was able to cut these pieces together so they match perfectly. Now I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch all the way around here on the outer pieces using a one quarter inch seam allowance. On the lining, I'm going to stitch all the way around, but I'm going to leave an opening on the side here um, so that we can turn our project right sides out when we're done. So let me go over to the sewing machine and let's just stitch right around the edge, leaving the top open because that's where we're going to be putting our glasses and make sh making sure that we leave an opening over here on the side so that we can turn our project right sides out. Now I have both my outer piece and my lining piece stitched together. I'm just going to take my outer piece and I'm going to turn it right sides out. And it's a little fidgety because of the foam, but it should turn without any problem. Now if you want to, you could have made this foam a little bit uh, smaller than the fabric pieces so that there wasn't so much bulk in the seam, but this is such a small project I really didn't see that it was necessary. Now there's our outer piece. We are now going to take our outer piece with our opening and our lining and we're going to place it so that it's right sides together inside of our lining piece.
so that these top raw edges meet. And you will see that they do. Now I'm just going to head over to the sewing machine and we are going to stitch all the way around the top of this to join our lining to our outer bag or our outer sunglass case piece. And then we can turn this right sides out and we can finish up this project. Now you can see I've stitched all the way around the top and now I'm going to reach inside my opening and I'm going to pull this outer bag through the opening. Poke out my lining. And then I'm I have a choice here. I can use ladder stitch, which would work just fine for this, but I'm just going to head over to my sewing machine and do a uh, edge stitch right along here to close up this lining. Ladder stitch is a little more clean, uh, but it's fine just to use the edge stitch for this because it, it is going to get lost inside this case and you won't ever see it. So let me just head over to the sewing machine and let me stitch right along the edge there and we will finish up this project. Okay, I have stitched along the edge and now I'm just going to poke my lining inside of my outer bag. And I'm using my chopstick here to make sure that it gets all the way down there. And for all intents and purposes, our sunglass case is finished. Now you can top stitch all the way around here, and I would recommend that if you are not going to add the cam snap. But I'm going to add a cam snap today um, so that you can close up this sunglass case so there will be no reason to top stitch to keep the lining in place because the cam snap is going to do that. Now if you've never installed a cam snap, you're going to need some tools for that. You're going to need one of these cam snap setting pliers and you're going to need an awl like this one. And it comes in the package uh, when you get the cam snaps. Um, all you really need to do is take your awl I'm just going to eyeball this, put it in the middle, and you're going to poke a hole right there. And in fact, if you want to, to make sure that this is even, you can poke a hole all the way through. You're going to take one of these little thumbtack looking things and you're going to place it on the outside of your outer bag and you're going to take either the female side of your cam snap or the male side of your cam snap which looks like that and you're going to place it just over that thumbtack looking piece and you're going to take your pliers and you want to make sure that the black part of your pliers goes on the little button and the white part of your pliers
goes on to either the male or female side and you're just going to press and that side of your cam snap is on. Now you've already put a hole through the other side so you just do the, exactly the same thing. You put your thumbtack looking thing through the the hole that you created and you take your female side of your you put the female side on just over the button and we're going to do the, exactly the same thing and squeeze. And what that does is it squeezes the tip of the little uh, thumbtack looking thing down so that it smushes into the cam snap and it secures it. And so now we have a secure place for our sunglasses and we are finished with this project. That's all there is to this project today. Super simple. It's padded because of the um, fusible foam. And if you've never worked with fusible foam, it's fairly simple to work with. Any beginner can do it. This is truly a beginner sewing project that anyone can make. But I hope that you enjoyed this project today. And if you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and if you want more sewing and crafting tutorials head over to www.sewverycrafty.com for loads and loads of more sewing and crafting tutorials that you don't find here on the YouTube channel. So that's it for today. I hope you like this simple one. It was fun and I will see you all next time. Bye!